Oke. Okay. Uh, today in this lecture we will discuss uh, the basic definitions regarding the characteristic roots and uh, the characteristic equations. So first of all, we want to define uh, some definitions I'm going to explain here. Uh, it's like characteristic function, then characteristic polynomial, and then characteristic groups, spectrum of uh, the matrix, and total four or five definitions are there. But for that, uh, we need square matrix. Without square matrix, we cannot do all those things. So this is applicable only for square matrix. So some definitions I will mention here. Some definitions. So first definition is characteristic matrix. Characteristic matrix. So what do you mean by characteristic matrix? OK. So uh, <clears throat> for all common, we have let A equal to A11, A12, A1n first row, A21, A22, A2n second row, and so on n row is A11, An2, and Ann. So this is n cross n or n square matrix behind n by n matrix behind n by n matrix and lambda is scalar here at present your scalar means it may be real number or complex number or finally we can call it is from complex number it may be real number or complex number scalar scalar means elements of field and standard examples of fields of rational number, real number, and complex number. So we can create everybody from C. If it is from real number, we can assume that imaginary part is zero. So lambda scalar means it is from the complex number. Uh, then the matrix. Then the matrix. I'm going to write the matrix here. Uh, how this matrix is obtained? A minus lambda times identity matrix of all k. That's only from diagonal A11 minus lambda A12 as it is A1n. A21 subtract lambda from diagonal A22 minus lambda A23 and so on A2n. And in the last row, An1 a n two and so on a n n minus lambda. So how it is obtained? The matrix A is subtracted from lambda times identity matrix of the same order of A. So what is lambda times i n here? It is just lambda, 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 lambda n by n only. And here all zero are there. So this is this this matrix is subtracted from A. And after subtra subtractions, we get this. So that means we are only subtracting the lambda from diagonal. So this matrix is referred as characteristic matrix. Keep this definition in mind. This matrix, the matrix A minus lambda times identity matrix of order same as of A is called the characteristic matrix. For example, if I ask if A is equal to 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 1, 0, 0, minus one. Then what is the characteristic matrix of A? One minus lambda, zero, one, two, three minus lambda, one, zero, zero, minus one, minus lambda is the characteristic matrix of is characteristic matrix of A. This is the example. We can have several examples. Matrix may be of power two, two by two. Any n, n is any natural number. So everybody uh, might be getting definition of this characteristic matrix. You have to just subtract the scalar number from the diagonal and write the matrix. Okay, now with the help of this, we have to define second definition here. 
we are going to define second definition. It is characteristic polynomial. Characteristic polynomial. It is called polynomial because it is polynomial in terms of that lambda scalar, or you can call function of lambda characteristic function. Another name. Like your official name is different and uh, your parent will call in different name like that. These are the two names which will be treated as same. The characteristic polynomial and characteristic roots, uh, characteristic functions. So the determinant elect the matrix is this same matrix of order n a11, a12, a1n, a21, a22, a2n. N through A N one, A N two, A N N. B N N by N matrix. B N N by N matrix. Then the determinant, those characteristic matrix, lila than what the determinant of that characteristic matrix is called as the characteristic polynomial. The determinant. Okay, I'll write first a minus lambda i, i same order, it is a11 minus lambda, a12, a1n. So it is, if you express this, you'll get expression in terms of lambda and lambda's power, that is polynomial. So that the determinant of characteristic polynomial is called as, sorry, characteristic matrix is called as characteristic, okay. Uh, I have mentioned root here, I should write functional, sorry, sorry for that. Polynomial or function, same thing here. So, second row A1, A21, A22 minus lambda and A2n. And the last row AN1, AN2, ANN minus lambda. <coughs> so, this determinant is called characteristic function or characteristic polynomial. Is called can express it. A determinant upon solve guru so this determinant is just a scalar term. We'll get expression in terms of lambda and lambda's power. We know that uh, since order is n, we'll get highest power of lambda as n. If you try to solve determinant of this, is called the characteristic function or polynomial. Is called characteristic. is called characteristic function or polynomial. So determinant of characteristic matrix is nothing but characteristic polynomial or it is also called as characteristic functions. For example, let us have two by two example. Okay. So its characteristic matrix is one minus lambda two three, four minus lambda. So this is your characteristic functions and it is denoted by phi of lambda. Okay, I will call it as phi of lambda, or polynomial in terms of lambda. So just solve the determinant, one minus lambda, four minus lambda, minus six. So what is solution of this? It's a solve karata here. One multiplied by four minus lambda, minus lambda multiplied by four minus lambda and minus six. So it is four minus lambda minus four lambda plus lambda square minus six. So what equation you get? Lambda square minus five lambda and minus six plus four it is two, minus two, sorry, it is minus two. So this is the characteristic polynomial. It is called character function of if matrix is of order two, then uh, we'll get polynomial in degree two. See, the lambda power is two. If it is matrix of order three, we'll get degree three. If it is matrix of order four, we'll get degree four. So that's why it is called polynomial, or we can call it function also because it is function of lambda. Now this is just term. It is not equation. But when I equate to this zero, when I for hot lambda this becomes zero. That means when I equate to this zero then it is referred as the characteristic it is referred as 
द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इक्वेशन आता हे फंक्शन आहे फंक्शन प्रॉब्लेम मध्ये फरक आहे दिस इज कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फंक्शन बट इफ यू इक्वेट टू दिस जीरो इक्वेट व्हेन टू टर्म्स आर वी आर गोइंग टू इक्वेटिंग दैट दैट मींस इट इज एन इक्वेशन सो जस्ट यू आर राइटिंग समथिंग सो समथिंग मींस व्हाट जस्ट आई विल राइट your x square plus y square that is it is not equation it is just term it is just function but whenever i am going to equate to something whenever i am going to equate to something there it is called equations if you write less than it will not equations it is just inequality if you write greater than it is also not equation equality sign has to be there two terms has to be compared there and then this is called equation so i am going to compare this characteristic function with zero so if characteristic function equates zero then that value is uh, that equation is called as the characteristic equations now we are going to define the term characteristic equation next how what number third number number 3 characteristic equation the equations determinant a minus lambda equal to 0 that is upon worthy phi of lambda equal to 0 is known as is known as characteristic equation this is known as characteristic equation of matrix a and versus problem la equal to 0 kela tar ata varsa matrix kay hota example if i have written it as 1 2 3 4 5 phi lambda apan calculate kelta kay alta to lambda square minus phi lambda minus 2 is characteristic फाइल लैम्डा फिर ऐसा ना हो या फाइल लैम्डा इक्वल टू जीरो या ला करेक्टर इक्वेशन में ऐसा क्यों बा दिस पार्ट इस कॉल्ड एस कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इक्वेशन इस कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इक्वेशन ऑफ मैट्रिक्स से नाउ वंस यू हैव इक्वेशंस यू कैन हैव रूट्स ऑफ दैट इक्वेशंस सो व्हाट लैम्डा ना � it may not have real roots but we can find if it is of degree 2 by fundamental theorem of algebra one can say that it has uh, at most two it has exactly two roots and that roots are present in the field of complex numbers so the roots real asil kai nahi the roots are complex numbers so roots of that character equations are referred as characteristic roots number 4 definition characteristic roots characteristic roots uh, the roots of the roots of characteristic equation the roots of characteristic equations <coughs> equation ka hai the a minus lambda equal to 0 are called they are not one they are n roots are called they may be repeated or may not be repeated are called characteristic stick roots of matrix a jasa aplyala na vastav pinta bale tase ache bharpur nave characteristic roots che the characteristic roots has alternative names i will just leave that to the characteristic roots are also called as are also called as characteristic values eigen values latent values and ke kad na asal proper values पूर्ण नाव दिल तला ऑल फोर आर सेम 
whenever i say characteristic roots it means characteristic values it means eigen values it means latent values it means proper values so five names are there total for this person there are five names and the roots of our equations are roots roots may be complex number or real number but always it is complex number by fundamental theorem of algebra every polynomial of degree n has at most n roots that n roots lies in the complex number not at most exactly n roots why i say at most because some roots may be repeated repeated root मध्ये कॅल्क्युलेशन मध्ये दोन रिपीटेड असेल तर काउंट एकच वेल म्हणून तो n पेक्षा कमी होऊ शकतो पण आपण जर रिपीटेड रूट वगळता तर आपण त्या ठिकाणी n रूट्स असं म्हणू शकतो नंबर 5 डेफिनेशन स्पेक्ट्रम स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ मॅट्रिक्स द सेट ऑफ कॅरेक्टरिस्टिक रूट्स सेट म्हणतो मी तर द सेट ऑफ characteristic roots the set of characteristic roots of matrix a the set of characteristic roots of matrix a is called spectrum of matrix a just you write in the set notation spectrum of a that's a notation as a kind of just spectrum of a is just set म्हणजे इफ लॅमडा वन लॅमडा टू लॅमडा थ्री लॅमडा थ्री इफ लॅमडा वन लॅमडा टू लॅमडा एन आर किंवा मी या ठिकाणी आर म्हणतो आर डिस्टिंक्ट आय गेट व्हॅल्यूज दॅट इज कॅरेक्टरिस्टिक रूट्स ऑफ ए देन सेट मध्ये आपण रिपीटेड करत नाही म्हणून मी डिस्टिंक्ट म्हटलंय the spectrum of a is set lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda r pe kadachit lambda 2 2 3 vela ala asel he count tumcha yenas hona hai mhanun me r distinct eigen values that can be r me r me be equal to n means there are total n distinct eigen values it depends on matrix how many eigen values are for that matrix are there and now uh, the last part of the definition then we will discuss example that is characteristic vectors this are eigen values and characteristic vectors plays a very important role in this algebra and in further research also characteristic vectors they are called also latent vectors eigen vector invariant vector pole of matrix say okay we'll uh, describe their names later on this definition so if lambda is characteristic roots of matrix a if lambda is characteristic roots of matrix a <coughs> of order matrix order n by n sum of of order n by n matrix of order n by n tala apan e matle then ata ito homogeneous system in it then non zero solution x non zero solution mante non zero solution x that is x1 x2 n order of solution three anything of what homogeneous system a minus lambda i so a matrix multiplied by this x equal to zero the non homogeneous sorry the non zero solutions of this homogeneous system is called the characteristic vector that is for non zero x if x become lambda x where lambda is eigen value yala sme solve kele याचं सॉल्व केलं तर काय होईल आपण हा ए इन टू एक्स मायनस लॅमडा इन टू एक्स असं होईल मग ते पण इकडे जाईल म्हणजे लॅमडा आयगन व्हॅल्यू साठी असा एक्स जर तुम्ही फाईन करू शकला की ए इन टू एक्स मल्टीप्लाय केलं तर लॅमडा टाइम्स एक्स येईल तर हा लॅमडा असतो आयगन व्हॅल्यूज आणि हा असतो आयगन व्हेक्टर और इट इज कॉल्ड एज कॅरेक्टरिस्ट व्हेक्टर देन एक्स इज आयगन ज्याला मी कॅरेक्टरिस्टिक म्हणतो and corresponding to lambda 
प्राइवेट वेक्टर एक्जिस्टल मध्य थे दुसरे नाव अपने कैरेक्टरिस्टिक वेक्टर ऑफ मैट्रिक्स आर ऑल्सो नोन एज कैरेक्टरिस्टिक वेक्टर ऑफ मैट्रिक्स से इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज कीप दिस नेम इन माइंड आइगेन वेक्टर मनाच कि लैटेंट वैल्यू मनो ना लैटेंट वेक्टर सुधा बनू शो अपन इन वेरियंट वेक्टर सुधा बनू शको शेवटी पोल पोल ऑफ मैट्रिक्स आइगेन वेक्टर ऑफ मैट्रिक्स से पोल ऑफ मैट्रिक्स से लैटेन वेक्टर ऑफ मैट्रिक्स से इन वेरियंट वेक्टर ऑफ मैट्रिक्स से और कैरेक्टरिस्टिक वेक्टर्स ऑफ मैट्रिक्स से दिस ऑल और अल्टरनेट नेम्स ऑफ दिस कैरेक्टरिस्टिक वेक्टर्स नाउ थ्रू एग्जांपल विल फाइंड द रूट्स एंड ऑल रूट्स कैरेक्टरिस्टिक वेक्टर्स विल सी एग्जांपल फाइंड द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक रूट्स फाइंड द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक रूट्स and the spectrum of the matrix of following matrices of following matrices so first matrix is 1 2 3 0 5 कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इक्वेशन ऑफ ए इज determinant a minus lambda i equal to zero so determinant of a minus lambda i what less a for at least lambda when i just do lambda times to mala i subtract karaycha mujhe diagonal mand ka subtract karaycha tumcha lakshya dile ya thikani and this is going to be equal to zero so it is lambda 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 so 1 minus lambda 2 3 0 4 minus lambda 2 0 0 7 minus lambda can you tell me determinant of this the determinant of triangular matrix diagonal matrix upper triangular lower triangular you know the value what is it नहीं कल तो सॉल्व करा डिटरमिनेंट ऑफ ट्रायंगुलर मैट्रिक्स इज जस्ट प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द डायगोनल डिटरमिनेंट ऑफ ट्रायंगुलर डायगोनल मैट्रिक्स इज जस्ट अ प्रोडक्ट ऑफ डायगोनल सो आई कैन राइट दिस एज 1 माइनस लैम्डा माइनस 4 माइनस लैम्डा जस्ट इन द फैक्टर नोटेशंस सो माइनस साइन टेकन कॉमन हियर सो 1 माइनस लैम्डा 4 प्लस लैम्डा 7 माइनस लैम्डा इक्वल टू जीरो माइनस कैन बी ट्रांसफर टू दैट जीरो दिस इज व्हाट वी हैव टू सॉल्व दिस आपला आता सॉल्व करायचं पॉल नंबर काढायचं ना हेंस अ प्रोडक्ट घ्यायचं हेंस अ प्रोडक्ट तुम्हाला घेता येईल व्हाट इज द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दिस हेंस अ प्रोडक्ट काय तो लिया नंतर तुम्ही सो रूट्स ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन इज 1 म्हणजे काय एक लॅम्डा लॅम्डा माइनस हा जीरो असेल किंवा हा जीरो असेल किंवा हा जीरो असेल म्हणजे रूट्स करतात आपल्याला काय त्याचे रूट्स मायनस फोर आणि सेवन दिज आर द रूट्स आर हे पॉलला मेल आहे कॅरेक्टरिस्टिक पॉलला मेल आपल्याला ते विचारलं नाही आपल्याला काय विचारलं कॅरेक्टरिस्टिक रूट्स विचारलं पॉलला मेल विचारलं असतं तर आपण याला एक्सप्रेस केलं असतं आर द कॅरेक्टरिस्टिक रूट्स 
ऑफ मैट्रिक्स ए एंड द स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ ए अपने लिया द स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ द मैट्रिक्स ए इज द सेट आता रिपीटेड रूट नहीं है तीन है लिस्टिंग द स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ मैट्रिक्स ए इज वन मैनस फोर सेवन राइट एनी ऑर्डर दिस इज सेट इफ एलिमेंट आर रिपीटेड इन द सेट वी डोट राइट रिपीट ना If eigen values are one, one, seven, then one you have write only once. That's it. Okay, we will have another example. Let us have some other example from the exercise. Matrix A is one one minus two minus one two one zero one minus one. So first write characteristic equation. Characteristic equation of A is. determinant a minus lambda times identity matrix of order 3 equal to 0 so that is 1 minus lambda 1 minus 2 minus 1 2 minus lambda is subtracted from the diagonal just it, that we have to keep in mind diagonal mode lambda la subtract kara ani ta matrix determinant la he je equation il tela characteristic equation manaycha ata ha determinant apra kay triangular nahi ha apela solve kara lagal so this implies 1 minus lambda is multiply to 2 minus lambda 1 1 तर आपण डिटरमिनेंट ह्या पद्धतीने सॉल्व करतो दिस मल्टीप्लाई बाय डिलीट द रो एंड कॉलम एंड राइट डिटरमिनेंट ऑफ रिमेनिंग सो वी हैव स्टार्टेड विद प्लस साइन बिकॉज़ दिस a1 वन एंट्री a1 टू मींस वी हैव राइट माइनस हियर सो माइनस 1 मल्टीप्लाई बाय 2 बाय 2 डिटरमिनेंट सो दिस वन बिलोंग्स टू सेकंड कॉलम एंड फर्स्ट रो सो Uh, remove that second column and first row. What is remaining? Minus one, one, zero, minus one, minus lambda. This is the way of expansion of determinant. And plus the last entry, this minus two. Remove this row and column. Right, remaining two by two determinant. That is minus of order two. Minus one, two minus one. Next zero and one. This is equal to zero because it is equation, characteristic equations. When you say equations, you have to equate something. So what next? उड़ा कहीं लता तो ये determinant solve करा. This implies one minus lambda bracket में दे two minus lambda multiply by minus one minus lambda अने हाँ minus one. Two by two determinant solve करें जगह साफ़ लग माइंड Minus one multiply by minus one multiply by minus one minus lambda minus zero. And next minus two is multiply by minus one minus zero because that zero is there. Okay. And this is going to equal to zero because it is an equation. What next? Solve the brackets. So what do I get in this bracket? A product kara tha. Two multiply by minus one minus lambda minus lambda multiply by minus one minus lambda minus one. This is minus one inside bracket minus one. So plus one will my one plus lambda say. Or minus one might be like two by two plus two. Kara bar solve kon tari? For calculations, I am making the calculations. So minus two, minus two lambda, plus lambda, plus lambda, and then two by plus lambda square because of that minus lambda and minus one. And some multiplication kara sir. We take a here minus one minus lambda plus two. Okay, so here one one minus lambda is multiplied to Minus two, minus one. Okay, lambda square. Me, I did it. So plus sign. Allah. 
minus two lambda plus lambda is minus lambda, and this is minus three, and minus lambda plus one. And this all the relation for the bracket after the solve process. And don't forget to write equal to zero because it is an equation. So what I get? One is multiplied two lambda square minus lambda minus three. Minus lambda is multiplied two lambda square minus lambda minus three. Minus lambda plus one equal to zero. अत अपना equation सांगा पर काय थे? Shifty. This implies lambda square. Minus lambda minus three after multiply by one. And after multiply by lambda square, I get minus lambda cube plus lambda square plus three lambda minus lambda plus one equal to zero. So first term is minus lambda cube. So lambda square. Lambda square, it is two lambda square. Next minus lambda, minus lambda minus two lambda plus three lambda. So it is just lambda. And last minus three plus one is just two. Okay, this is the equation. So I can multiply by minus one. Ah, huh? I can multiply by minus two. Minus two, sir. Minus five. Minus two, I think. Minus three plus one. Ah, uh ha, -huh, minus two. Okay. okay. I can multiply by minus so lambda cube minus two lambda square minus lambda plus two. Okay. Now guess what are the roots of these equations? Which roots are these? Now that is the thing. Exam. Now cubic like formula is there. You have to know. Pagal agar lambda ki matu one theory tar kaya the. Itar lambda ki matu one theory tar one minus two. Kitiya la minus one. माइनस वन माइनस वन माइनस टू मे लैमडा इक्वल टू वन ठेला तो सैटिस्फाई होता है बन क्यूब माइनस टू इंटू वन स्क्वेर माइनस वन प्लस टू हा वन माइनस टू माइनस वन प्लस टू माइनस टू प्लस टू कैंसल होते हैं लैमडा इक्वल टू वन इज रूट ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन बाय ट्रायल एर हाउ टू फाइंड रिमेन रूट्स आई जस्ट एक्सप्लेन दिंथेटिक डिविजन सो क्वेश्चन ऑफ लैमडा क्यूब I am writing all the coefficients: lambda cube, lambda square, lambda and constants. And lambda equal to one is one root. That is our final. Another equation is that there are factors by which we divide. We are going to divide it. So I take the root time which is shown here is zero and one. Now one by one as it is. So one, this one into one is written here. So minus two into one is minus one. So minus one into one is minus one, and minus two into one is minus two. So last term zero. What is the result? हा फैक्टर है क्वाड्रेटिक फैक्टर है आता एक 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 डिग्री अपन रिड्यूस के लिए हाँ लैमडा स्क्वेर क्वेश्चन हा लैमडा चाहिए हा कॉन्स्टंट क्वेश्चन जर आप इक्वेशन द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इक्वेशन अपने कस मिलना है लैमडा इक्वल टू वन लैमडा माइनस वन है फैक्टर का लैमडा इक्वल टू वन फैक्टर का लैमडा माइनस वन इक्वल टू जीरो लैमडा माइनस दुसरा का लैमडा स्क्वेर प्लस लैमडा प्लस वन इक्वल टू जीरो एच फैक्टर या प्रकार पड़े मैं ये फैक्टर्स लैमड़ा इक्वल टू वन इतने घाला मग दुसरा फैक्टर का तो इतना काड़ना सीन्थेटिक डिविजन मन अपन समझ ना तो परत विचार एक्जाम्पल पर मात्र एक रूट तुम्हारा गेस करना बंधनकारक है लाइक क्वाडिटिव देर इज नो मेथड लॉट्स ऑफ रिसर्च हाउ डन फॉर दैट बट अप टू डिग्री थ्री और फोर समबड़ी हाउ फाइंड फॉर्म्यूला बट इट इज नॉट एप्लीकेबल टू ऑल so we have to just find by trial error method and quadratic equations you know what are the roots of this याचे रूट्स काय असतील आता आताचे फॅक्टर्स करतील ना आपल्याला काय आहेत ते फॅक्टर्स ओके हा -2 आहे सॉरी इथे शेवटचा -2 आहे मी प्लस 1 दिलाय दिस इज ऍक्च्युअली -2 नाउ यू टेल मी द फॅक्टर्स ऑफ दिस कारण हे कोएफिशिएंट्स आहेत 1 1 1 आणि -2 हे कोएफिशिएंट्स आहेत म्हणजे द कॅरेक्टरिस्टिक इक्वेशन आता रूट्स काढतोय आपण इक्वेशन मिळाले तुम्हाला लैमडा स्क्वेर माइनस लैमडा माइनस टू इक्वल टू जीरो फैक्टर्स पड़ू शको का फैक्टर्स पड़ते हैं प्रोडक्ट आला पाजे माइनस टू मे एक एक समझा का संगा माइनस टू प्लस वन 
minus two plus one. So lambda plus one, lambda minus two. Yeah, brother. Now the roots are the roots. What is One minus one and two. These are the roots. These are the characteristic roots. The full layer at last. These are the characteristic roots of given attendance mark cross rosen. These are the characteristic roots of matrix A. And the spectrum of A is. And the spectrum of A is the set 1 minus 1, 2. But the set uh, repeat present. Eh? Uh, don't repeat in the set. So you just try to solve this matrix for this matrix. Uh, 3, 1, 4, 0, 2, 6. Okay, this is triangular matrix. I have answered directly. This 3, 2, 5 are the eigenvalues. I mean, whenever we have triangular matrix, diagonal matrix, the diagonal entries are just eigenvalues. So 3, 2, 5 is the answer for that. Uh, this 3, 2, 5 are the eigenvalues. So next example, no, we'll have instead of triangular and all, uh, 0, 1, 2, 1, 0, minus 1, 2, minus 1, 0. At the diagonal zero, many values are not there. Just like this. There is a answer. There is a one eigen value. What is zero? One eigen value zero. Back which are there? There are one upon root two, one upon root three. What is that? At that spectrum level, what is the spectrum of this? Sorry, one upon root two. This is the answer. Given one eigen value. There is two. There is another eigen value. There is minus one, plus two, root three. Minus one, minus root three. So try to solve these two examples and we'll meet tomorrow at 8 o'clock with the same link.